Welcome to lesson one, the two types of bodily signals. It's been a while me really settling into my understanding of this. And I would say that we're going on a journey together here. I'm still learning to listen to my body. I suspect it has a lot more to teach me. And as I slow down in life, I'm noticing more and more of those signals. So this is an invitation to join me on a journey to explore this together. Please, as we go through the course, share your insights, share what you're seeing about this. What I love about these courses is that I often learn too from the course classroom. So let's go on this journey together. So for me, there's two quite distinct messages that come from my body. And I guess I would call the first ones physiological. And so that for me is noticing what my body actually needs to be healthy. So it might be me noticing when I'm hungry and not ignoring that and plowing on with recording my course for Insight Timer. (laughs) but actually pausing and having something to eat. It's also the opposite end of that spectrum. And it's about me noticing when my stomach is telling me that it's actually full. And eating slowly enough and mindfully enough to actually notice that. Now, I'm a woman who was brought up in the 70s and 80s with parents who believed it was the right thing to teach me to clear my plate. So that's one that I'm still tuning into more and more each day. So there's an invitation for you to tune into that too. The other things that I notice from my body are the little aches and pains. There's a few more of those these days. Um, You don't get to 53, I think, without gaining a few aches and pains. And so that's, I'm lying in bed and I notice that my shoulder's hurting and it's changing position, but it's During the day when I'm working at my desk, noticing that I've been sat down too long, perhaps my bottom is going numb or my back is feeling a bit crunchy and knowing to listen to that and get up and move about, maybe go for a walk, spend some time standing at my desk perhaps. So there are lots of these little physical nudges. Even the dryness of your mouth, just notice now whether your mouth is dry. Do you need to have a drink? All day, every day, our body is sending us these little nudges to to help us take care of it better because it can't really do that for itself, can it? You know, my body eventually may choose to do something to help me. And I guess for me, when I burn out, that really felt like a time when my body took over. I walked into work one day and My body literally turned me around and took me out again and I never actually went back. But I had been ignoring those signals from my body for a very, very long time. The continual catching of coughs and colds, the the tiredness, the lack of sleep, the jitteriness I felt in my body, I ignored that for far too long. So take some time really to tune in to that. So as well as those physical, physiological sensations and nudges we get from the body, the other thing we're going to be tuning into a lot on this course is those emotional nudges from the body where anxiety arises or that sense of heaviness and lowness that comes with what we might call depression. So that's where we feel them, isn't it? You know, that's where we feel that sensation. I I guess for me, I tend more towards that kind of heaviness of low mood and feeling dragged down, I guess, in my body. So the mind, which uh, we're not going to ignore on this journey about the body, we're going to love the mind too, just like the body. The mind has a story about all of that, doesn't it? About what that feeling might be. What what is that emotion? Why is it there? What does it mean? And fundamentally, perhaps not consciously, but that's always there, how to get rid of them. 
the body has a very different relationship with the feelings, with the emotions as they arise. What the body is really saying to us when an emotion arises, it's saying, here is some information about your current internal state. Some information about where your attention is, about what thoughts you're having, about where energy is flowing. The body gives us that information just in the same way as it says, you need to have a drink now or something to eat by providing us with those pangs from the body. We misunderstand all the time what those emotions actually are. They are energy in motion. So the invitation here is to spend some time listening to that. When you have a feeling in your body, an emotion, an energy in motion arising in your body, can you be present to it? Can you see it as information? empowering information to let you know where your attention is, what you're thinking about, and how separated you are from your true essence, from your true potential. Because that's all those feelings are ever telling you. That's all an emotion is. It's energy in motion. It's a piece of information. It's a gift from your body to say, hey, just need to let you know you're all, you're, you're all over the place. Your awareness isn't good in a good place. Your thinking's a little bit wobbly. That's all it is. And as we spend more and more time listening to the body, we will spend more time in that present moment and be more connected to the wisdom which is available there. As we connect to the wisdom of the body, we can only ever connect to the wisdom of the present moment. And that's the most wonderful place to spend most of our time. And from that place, the world is our oyster and we can create truly amazing things in the world. So let me know what you've heard so far on this course and what you've found helpful. Are you tuned in to the signals of your body or is that a work in progress like I think it probably is for all of us, including me? Let me know all about that. And when you've shared that in the course classroom, I will see you in lesson two, which is taking time to tune in.